Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be showing you a time-lapse view of the barometric pressure on the Casio ProTrek PRG600. This is module 5497. Now this watch works a lot like other ProTrek watches out there. You've got a couple different ways you can look at the uh, barometric pressure. The easiest way is from your main timekeeping mode. That's what we're in right now. You're going to always have your analog hand values, but down here you've got a digital display that you can actually set the barometric pressure trend on. Now that's not what we're seeing here. What I have mine set to is the uh, digital time. Mine's showing in a 24-hour format, but if I press the top left button, I can toggle that. Now I'm looking at the day of the week, the month, and the date. Toggle it one more time, and now we're seeing our barometric pressure trend over the last 24 hours. There's 12 different lines here, little dots here. Each dot represents the last two or a two hour time frame, and then 12 of those equals a 24 hour value. You'll always see the far right one is going to be blinking. That's going to be your current reading, and then the previous ones will be what it was before. You can see that there's been a barometric pressure drop, uh, in my case, in the last couple of hours. Unfortunately, while we can keep this on here at all times, the one thing that you don't see is your barometric pressure. And the only way you can see that is by going into the barometer mode. The way we're going to do that is we're going to press the bottom left button. That'll put us in our, in our barometer mode. The negative about this watch is you can only stay in the barometer mode for one hour. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and go into the barometer mode, show you what the barometer looks like, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn on the time lapse. And you're going to see what's going to happen is basically it will kick us out of the barometer mode and put us back into this regular timekeeping display. You'll still be able to see the trend. I'll let it go for a while so you can watch the barometric pressure trend uh, over time. And at least it'll give you an idea of how the barometer works if you were to set it on your watch and uh, take a look at the watch over a period of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the mode button. And now we are in our barometer. You can see on the bottom right, is my barometric pressure. The bottom left, we still have the same trend. And then again, if we just sit here for an hour, it'll eventually kick us out of the barometer and put us back in our main time mode. You'll also see that change up here. This little hand is pointing to the barometer that's telling me that I'm in the barometer mode. If it was pointing all the way up, it would tell me I'm back in time mode. So let's go ahead and do a time lapse. I'll let you look at the barometer. 